Hi, I'm Sharon. Welcome to my channel. In this video, I'm going to be doing another Timu haul for you. And I wanted to remind you that I will have links in the description box of everything that I have as long as it's available. I will also have a code for you if you are new. And as long as you use that code within an hour of downloading the app, you will get 50% off your first order. What I suggest if you want to peruse the website and look around is to just go to www.timu.com and look at things there, or you can um, click the links that I'll have for you for the different items, and that'll open up another window um, for you to look at everything. But don't download the app until you're ready to use that code. <laughs> she keeps licking my arm and it's making my arm shake. Um, so I will have that code for you and I will have a link also in the description box that will give you a hundred dollar coupon bundle as well. So definitely check that out. And as usual, I want to remind you to give this video a like, make sure that you are subscribed and click that notification bell so that you get notified every time I upload a video. So let's see what I have. Okay. This first thing is... For natural nails, it's called Original Nail Envy. This was $3.14. If I can get it out. And it's a natural nail strengthener. And I did the press on nails again. I did Halloween nails. So I'm loving those. But I figured in between them, when I just have my natural nails and maybe polish on, I could put this on just to give my nails an extra little boost. These are socks that they were $3.59 and I believe there's seven pairs. It doesn't say, but I believe it was seven pairs. They're 95% polyester, 5% spandex. My mom got these and um, she sent me the link of what she got. No, stay with me, baby. Um, she sent me the link to the ones that she purchased because she liked them and they, they stayed on her feet. They didn't um, fly off or get stuck in her shoe. Um, but they're, you can wear these with, um, you know, like flats or something, or I guess even with heels, but I have flats and they stay hidden underneath. But what she likes, I don't know if you're going to be able to tell, there's this silicone piece here. And she said that that really keeps it stuck to your foot so it doesn't slide off and go back into the shoe. So I figured I'd try them. And again, it was $3.59. So I figured it can't hurt to give them a try. This is another Ponyo dupe. It was three dollars and fourteen cents. Um, they had disc. Bye, Zozo. I thought she'd stay. She likes laying on the floor. I think she gets hot. Now Oreo's joining us. Um, the last one I had gotten a brown one. That was all that they had left. This time they had a black one. But the one that I originally had gotten when I went to put the link, um, it was discontinued. I don't know if they got into trouble from Ponyo and that was why, but I'll see if there's hopefully a link for this one. Again, this was $3.14 and the regular Ponyo bands go for $10 um, depending on the size that you get. And the way they work, so they come like this in a circle and then you, you would pull your hair up in a ponytail, put your hair through the circle and then squish it down like this and then you fold over the sides, so it kind of makes a C shape, and that's what holds your hair in the ponytail, and it makes for a really full, nice ponytail. I'm just wearing a regular ponytail band today, but I purchased from Ponyo. They have like jewelry that you could put on here, so I have a silver and a gold piece. Um, I don't think it has rhinestones. I think it's just like silver and gold, but um, 
I don't know, it's like fancy. So it looks nice when you're going out. So I highly recommend these if these are available. If that one's not available, put in Ponyo dupe and something will come up. So this is another thing for my son's mug. This was $1.48. And this is just to go, you would sit the mug in this so that if it's sweating from cold liquid, um, it won't leave marks on your coffee table or wherever you have it. So this is just like a sleeve that fits underneath it. And then this I'm excited about. So they had these sold separately. But this one I got because it came with the band. This was $4.48. I think this was like a dollar extra than the other ones, but it comes with this exercise band and it's a stretchy band. I can get it out. So it's a stretchy band that you can use um, just for like toning and strength. And I don't know that I'll do like a regular exercise routine, but there is definitely resistance with this. So that's really good. I wonder if I could even like hang it over a doorknob and then pull it from there. And then this, you they showed a picture and I screenshot it. So there's multiple ways that you can use this. So you can use it with your arms going like this. Um, I guess I should cut this off. Let me get my scissors. I knew that was gonna happen. That's why I held it away from my face. So they show that you can use it going like this, which, wow, I can really feel that. And then also put it um, between your legs so it's like a thigh shaping. And that's kind of hard to do. Maybe I'll sit here and do that. No, I'm probably going to shake if I keep doing that. But yeah, this is good, especially like if you're just watching TV. That's a good thing to do in between. Okay. These are two, four, five pairs of socks. They were $7.48. And they are Boston Terrier socks. They're all just a little bit different. So here you have Boston Terriers here. That was part of why I had Zoe up here so you could see what breed of dog she was. These, these are super cute. These are really cute too. And this last one. So they have a dog like standing up and then begging with its tongue out and then just the face with the tongue out. So these are all really cute. Yeah, they look like you. They look like you. Mommy gonna wear you on her feet. What do you think? <laughs> he doesn't care. And then I got for my computer, a sticker. And I found that um, they have some things like this is listed as a bulldog. So they kind of lump French bulldogs and Boston Terriers together. So you kind of have to be discerning about which one you're getting, but that's a Boston face. So I'm gonna put that on my computer, along with my Ted Lasso sticker. Put it back this way so I can see it. And then, got a bunch of earrings. These were $1.19 and I got them in silver and in gold. And they have little rhinestones all down them, so they're sparkly. So these are the, obviously the gold ones. And then these are the silver ones. I think they're little 
twisted together. Hang on. Okay. All right, fix that later. And then these were 89 cents. And these I thought were interesting. All right, where's the rest of it? It's all apart. It's giving me all in pieces. Here's the back. I don't know why they didn't put it together. So, so this is the back part. Where did I just put my hand? And then this is the front part, and it has the rhinestones down it. So I'm going to put it on so that we can both see it. I don't think these came in gold. I think it was only silver. I always have a hard time getting that ear in. Earrings in that ear. It's not going in the back. What the heck? Let me try the other one. That'll be disappointing because they're really pretty. Try this one. Okay, that one went in. It was a little hard, but it went in. Let me try this one. Okay, so maybe you, you have to use specifically the same ones together. All right, let's try this again. So this is them. I'm trying to see myself in the thing. They are really pretty. There we go. Okay, so I like these. And then, and those were, as I said, 89 cents. And then these were a dollar ninety-eight. I didn't put these on because they won't match my pumpkin shirt, but they're pink feather earrings. Aren't they cute? And then this, I am super disappointed. I've already returned it. I didn't even wait as I was going through and pricing things. I thought, return it now because. There was no point in waiting. This was supposed to be my Hebrew name. It was $3.59. I'm so disappointed in this. That is not my Hebrew name. First of all, so these two letters would be the first two letters of my Hebrew name, except that it's backwards. Because when you read in Hebrew, you're going this way. And these letters shouldn't even be in here. So I don't even know what name this is supposed to say because that's a tzadi at the end, which makes a tz sound. And I just spelled my name in English because I don't have a Hebrew transliterary keyboard. So that's a tzadi and then an aleph and then a nun and then the chet. And I have no idea what it's like tsuna tsuna something clearly not hana and i was really disappointed i wrote a whole thing in there 
telling them that not only wasn't it my name, that there were extra letters and my name doesn't end in an Aleph, it ends in a Hey. And um, whoever is doing their things is not doing them correct. So if you order this, make sure that you know how the person's name is and be careful that they're not writing the name backwards. We had, this is a funny story. We had friends over and the wife had gotten her children's name in ta on tattoos on her back. And I was looking at them and I was like, something's not right because Hebrew you read from right to left. And I'm looking at it and I'm like, this is not right. And she was like, what? And then it dawned on me, it was her kids' names, but it was backwards. They wrote it left to right. I told her she was so upset. Evidently her husband did read Hebrew and he knew and didn't have the heart to tell her. She was furious. It was really funny, but it was also like one of those like, oh, maybe I should have kept my mouth shut situations. Yeah, that was crazy. Um, and oh, I almost forgot this. This is a Boston Terrier pin brooch, whatever you want to call it, 78 cents. Isn't that cute? Look, that's you. He doesn't care. And then I got a Happy Hanukkah. Love and Light Happy Hanukkah flag to put out at Hanukkah on my flag pole thing. And then these are Hanukkah presents for Brian. This was $3.48 and I'm a little upset with myself because I didn't realize when I got it, it's the dog's most more brown than black like it's a mixture of brown and black and i couldn't tell in the little small picture of it so both of our dogs are black and white they might have a little bit of brindle but they are not the i don't know if they call them red boston brown boston's whatever but they're definitely all black so um you know this is clearly brown and this is clearly brown and there's a brown stripe under there so that part's a little bit disappointing, but it is super cute. So I'm still going to put it up and it comes with the hanger part. So you have that there. So, but it's a Hanukkah present for Brian. So he doesn't know about it yet. And then I also got him and I don't want to take this out. They like shrunk wrapped it. It was $16 and 59 cents. And I got, um, Oh, I didn't realize they're saying it in centimeters. I'll, I'll Google what the um, sizing is. It's 150 centimeters by 200 centimeters. And I'll put that here on the screen so that you can see what it is. But it's all Boston Terriers. And again, I'll put a picture either here or here. I'll see where it fits. And I'll put a picture of what it looks like um, so that you can see it. It's really cute. Really, really super cute. So I'm going to keep these together because I have to hide these. And then my last thing that I got is all yarn. So these come in a two pack. So it's $5.59. You get 200 grams. So it's 100 grams each skein of yarn. Um, each one is 200 meters, which is about 218.7 yards. But I just thought that color was so pretty. And I want to make myself, now I'm not sure. So I think I got 10 skeins of it. And I'm not sure if I want to make a couple of things. I was, my original plan was to make myself a granny square cardigan with it. And then um, on Instagram, I saw, um, it's my old, violin teacher when I was taking Irish fiddle lessons. I follow her band and she was wearing, um, it was in brown, orange and white, but it was a granny square duster, like jacket, but real long. So like more called a duster than a jacket. And it was gorgeous. And I was like, oh, maybe I want that. So I think I have enough yarn to make a duster. And then um, I'll just, do a long 
sweater jacket like type thing. I don't have a pattern. I have a pattern for a jacket. I was just gonna kind of make my own pattern, I think. And if I do that, if I do end up making my own pattern, I'll video it so that you guys can see what I'm doing. But um, yeah, I'm not sure what to do yet. And then I have, I have a few granny square patterns. So like I could put black yarn with this and um, have black in between to join the squares. So I have a lot to think about. I'm not really sure exactly how I wanna do it yet. Like I'll make all the granny squares with this and then use black thread yarn to attach them all together maybe. So yeah, I'll have to think on that. I'm not really sure what I want to do, but um, that was everything. I've slowed down a lot on my ordering because I got all my holiday gifts pretty much out of the way. And um, now I've just been getting like little things here and there that I see that I want. And like this was a total impulse buy. I forget how this came up. I, it just was there. And I was like, you know what? My legs are so weak. I need to do something to try and strengthen them besides the walking. Um, yeah. So that's everything. And I'm going to go and give this a try. This is hard. Oh my God. I'm so much weaker than I realized. Oreo, help me. I don't even care. Well, that's it for this one. I'll see you guys in the next one. And yeah, that's it. Take care. Bye.